Hi, everybody. I'm Ron Erickson. Um, and uh, Walter, thank you uh, so much for uh, asking me to do this. Um, I'm going to be reading a poem by uh, Wilfred Owen, who was a uh, soldier and a poet. Um, and he died uh, at the age of 25 um, in his second tour at the front. And it, uh, uh, while well, serving for, uh, with Delta Company, the second Manchesters, uh, while they were trying to cross the, uh, what is it called, the Samrawa Canal at Ors. And uh, the name of the poem is uh, Dolce et Decorum Est. And that is, that's the, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the modern Italian pronunciation. It's actually Dolce et Decorum Est. Bent double like old beggars under sacks. Knock-kneed, coughing like hags, we cursed through sludge. Till on the haunting flares we turned our backs and towards our distant rest began to trudge. Men marched asleep, many had lost their boots, but limped on, bloodshod, all went lame, all blind. Drunk with fatigue, deaf even to the hoots of tired, outstripped five nines that dropped behind. Gas, gas, quick boys, an ecstasy of fumbling, fitting the clumsy helmets just in time. But someone still was yelling out and stumbling and floundering like a man in fire or lime. Dim through the misty panes and thick green light, as under a green sea, I saw him drowning. In all my dreams before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. If in some smothering dreams, you too could pace behind the wagon that we flung him in and watch the white eyes writhing in his face, his hanging face, like a devil sick of sin, if you could hear at every jolt the blood come gargling from the froth corrupted lungs, obscene as cancer, bitter as the cud, of vile and curable sores on innocent tongues. My friend, you would not tell with such high zest to children ardent for some desperate glory, the old lie, dolce et decorum est, pro patria mori. <laughs>